welcome to another YouTube video by Jerome Beauty. Today I'm going to show you how to safely remove your shellac and biogel nails. We did a video many years ago demonstrating this, but I thought we'd this time make up a kit and it would make it a whole lot easier. So I'm going to go through what's in their little soak off kit today. We've made this at Duran just so it makes it easier for people to soak their gels off at home. So first of all we've got a soak off solution. We've got then some cotton wool. The foil that you need. This is a higher grade foil. You can use foil that you use in the kitchen. Um, this one's just a little bit stronger. It stays on easier. We've also got then gloves for afterwards. And we've also got the files that you need. So we've got the orange stick first, and we've got a boomerang white file, which has got a fine side and a coarse side. These are salon files. And then we've also got a sponge buff file there as well, but I'll demonstrate how to use all of these. So let's get started. Okay guys, we're gonna get started now. So I've got all my tools out that I need. It's very important that you do use the correct tools. Um, a lot of people say that shellac and biogel damage their nails, but that's probably because they haven't removed it correctly. So I'm gonna go through and show you exactly how to do that today. So first of all, if you've got quite long nails and you don't want them that long anymore, it's best to cut them back before you start. Just means you don't have to soak off all that excess gel. Mine are quite short, so I'm gonna just use the file. So it's really important that you do break the seal first. Um, this just allows the soak off solution to get quite far underneath the nail. Lovely, so I'm just breaking my seal there. Now I have biogel on my nails today, so that means it's a little bit thicker. That means when you're using your white file, you're gonna use the coarse side. If you're using, if you've got shellac on your nails, you're gonna use the fine side. Now, shellac don't endorse that you um, buff the top of the nail like this. They say that it can come off just by the soak off on top, but I just find it just helps the process that little bit quicker. So today, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roughly buff up the gel. Now you're not damaging your own nail at all because you've got the gel over your natural nail. So all I'm doing is I'm roughing up the biogel or if you've got shellac you're just roughing up the shellac and that's just going to allow that soak off solution to penetrate right into the nail. Right so I've done enough buffing up there that's quite rough. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab, just grab one piece of your foil like that just to protect whatever you're using. I would suggest popping down a towel. I'm going to get the little bit of cotton wool, grab your soak off solution and you're going to pour it in there and saturate it. Then you're going to place it on the nail like so. I'm going to grab another piece of my foil and you're going to wrap it around. So this foil is quite thick so it's really good it stays on. Now also just a warning, please don't use your soak off solution around a naked flame because it is flammable. Right, and there we go. I'm gonna do one other one just to show you. I'm actually, I'll do it on my other hand so you can see that you can do it even if you're right handed. Lovely, so I'm going to just take off that edge. Like so, and we're gonna just buff up the nail there. It will feel funny the first couple of times you do it because you think, oh my gosh, there's a really coarse file on top of my nail, but just remember you've got the gel there to protect it. And you've also broken that seal, so that's gonna help with the soak off. All oh, good, so we'll grab that little bit of stuff again, open my acetone, pour it on, place it on the nail, and grab your foil and wrap that around like so. Make sure they're really tight on there, no air bubbles. Now if I'm in the salon and I'm soaking off someone's nails, I'll do all 10 of them and then I'll go back to the first one and start taking them off. Um, but if you're doing it yourself, we like to pop it on all 10 and then this comes in the kit, some little black gloves. And it just makes it so much easier. It makes the foils not pop off if you wanna do things. So I put on the black gloves like that, it also keeps it more airtight and that will help with the soak off. So pop your black gloves on, 
then just go around the house and do whatever you need to do. You can do your cleaning because you've already got your gloves on and it means that your nails are soaking off at the same time. So I'm going to leave, if I'm soaking off Biogel, I'll leave it on for 15 minutes, um, shellac um, 10 minutes. So we're going to leave that on for the appropriate time and then I'm going to come back and show you how to soak it off. Okay guys, so this is going to be the moment of truth. We're going to just now take off the gloves and we're going to start just taking off the Biogel or shellac. So as you can see, I'll hold it up there. It's started, it's flaked off and I'm just using my orange stick there just to lightly just take that off. So if you get any really really little stubborn bits it's best not to really force at it. It's best just to put the soak on solution on again and wrap it up but this is just coming off really nice and easily there. Lovely, right into the cuticles. Perfect. Now this is where you use then, this is called an orange purple file. The orange side is fine, the other side is coarse. Don't use the purple side on your natural nail, only use the orange. And this is where it just smooths out the nail. I'm just going to tidy up my edges there, like so. And I've got all the biogel off that nail there. I'll do that one more time on this other hand. Right, so we'll just take off. So this is using the other hand. So it is a little bit more difficult, but as you can see there, the gel's not having any trouble coming off. So it definitely does help if you have the right tools in the first place to get it off. It's always a little bit harder working with your not dominant hand. Lovely, that's all come off there. Then I'm just gonna grab my orange file just lightly get off anything there, just a little bit in the corner. There's two sides to this orange stick which is great, an angled side and a pointy side. So the pointy side's good just to get right into the side of the nail there. Lovely and just very lightly, perfect and you can see that the shellac or the biogel has come off the nail there really really easily. Now this step here you've just got a natural bare nail. Um, from here you can do a couple of different options. We suggest the um, the Biosculpture Little Treats range. So you, if you like a more oily feel on the nail you can go for a cuticle oil. We've also got the Vitamin Dose. This is what we put on the nails um, once we've soaked them off. So I'll just show that to you there. So it's quite a clear substance. But that just helps to penetrate into the nail. You've got your cuticle oil. And that just rubs into the nail, like so. And then once you've done that, you can go and wash your hands quite well. A little bit of a scrubbing brush as well. And then if you like, you can apply an executive base um, or a lavender base, which is both the nail hardeners, if you're not going to have the gel reapplied onto the nails. So I hope that's helped you guys. If you have any questions, please email us at info at and uh, we will see you soon. Many thanks.